Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or if you are new here, welcome. My name is Martina and today on my channel we are going to be making some ephemera for our pastel blossoms journals. So if you are not following the series, I will link the whole playlist below for you. So we are basically making this whole journal together from start to finish using my digital kit pastel blossoms. And yeah, and I thought we could just have some fun today with my add-on kit, which is all about uh, ephemera and uh, do it like a sort of um, this thing that we've been doing lately. So uh, how to use digital ephemera and make it your own. So of course, you know, some of these pieces are pretty finished. You could definitely use them as they are and they would look pretty I believe in in any journal but I really want to do something fun with them I, I actually love doing it I hope you guys are enjoying this this um, out of the box thinking and creative thinking about digital ephemera I know I am so so yes so I thought we could start with these these are the four postcards that I have in the kit, you get four of them on a sheet and I thought I was actually inspired by Rachel from Roxy Creations. I saw it on her channel, she, she had four postcards like this and she collaged on the back of the paper and then like, like a random collage, so she collaged all this whole page and then she cut out the the postcards and she was left with those beautiful uh beautiful backgrounds for for her postcards and i thought we could do that um i'm, I'm excited to try this so let me let me pull my uh my uh collage papers binder that i have here and see what we could use so I would definitely like to use some of these. These are uh, French letters, I think, or French French something <laughs> from tailor-made journals. As always, I will link a shop below. I use this stuff so much. And then what else? Maybe some of these. These are these are handmade papers, digital handmade papers from um, Digital Curio. Then I am thinking some of these coffee and avocado lace pages. Like this one from Tailor Made Journals. What else? Do I want anything else from from the painted papers, maybe. Ooh, these are <laughs> my port prints. I have a lot of papers <laughs> uh, for, for my collages. These are my port prints, uh, wildflower collage pages. So this would, I think, would be gorgeous. I'm just looking, you know, how they work color-wise together. And I think they actually look great. So I'm just choosing one sheet of each because we don't need too, too many of them. Um, we don't need too many of them because we're just collaging basically one, one page. And maybe some ledger? Do I want some ledger? Mm, I think this might look nice. And most of my printed ledger papers are also from from Lorna Taylor made Taylor made journals. Okay, so I think I like the color scheme that we have here. One more thing I think I might add to this mix is vintage book page. So this is my French French vintage book page that I got last year in a flea market and I adore the color the color
color of these pages is so beautiful. So I think I think it will look nice here just as a pop of something uh, more vibrant and just something like that. Okay, so the idea is that you have your postcards but basically you don't take them into account when you are collaging. So you are just making a collaged background uh, on the other side and then you cut them out and you are kind of like it's a surprise what you get. <laughs> so let's start maybe tearing some papers. So I love this. I definitely want to have this on my page. So I'm going to take a ruler here. Just tear the white out of it. Okay, and this side as well. Okay, and let me tear the piece that that I want. This paper is absolutely gorgeous. These uh, handmade uh, papers from Digital Curio. And I will link, link their shop below too and you just search for handmade paper and you will find them in there. Let me now take some of this beautiful paper from Lorna maybe somewhere here <clears throat> so first I'm just kind of choosing the bigger pieces and then I will go in and maybe add some some smaller pieces to to this as well now I definitely am going to want some of this text, but maybe first I could use some of this pretty ledger paper on the other side. Okay. And... Uh, right, maybe I will tear this side as well. So I'm actually not sure if this was Rachel's original idea, I don't remember, uh, but she has so many absolutely fantastic ideas. So if you guys don't, don't, are not sub subscribed to her channel yet, which I'm pretty sure most of you are, <laughs> but just in case you're not, I will link her channel below as well, because she is... She is an amazing inspiration, she really is, and she she posts so many videos. She's doing this 100 day project when she's uh, basically posting a video every single day, which is huge. I, uh, I'm not sure I would be able to, to pull it off. Okay, maybe some of this too. And I'm also not too worried about like this sticking out. I will glue all the pieces first and then I will uh, cut off the excess wherever, wherever needed. So like that maybe. Or... Let me see. I don't need... This part. Mm -hmm. So you guys can see how simple this is. Uh, of course we are using huge pieces but all of them are beautiful papers and okay so you know what let me glue those and then we will figure out what we want to add next. Or, I will just check if I want to slip a book page here somewhere, like this. 
yeah actually I like it these these letters are so stunning um, this is what I love you know about digitals I have this gorgeous piece of French ephemera and I am honestly not worried at all about tearing it up because I know I can print it as many times as I need it um, later so that's amazing about about digitals so I'm wondering what is everyone working on right now creatively if you guys could share with me in the comments what you are currently working on what are your projects are you finishing some old projects are you are you excited to start something new i am very interested to know i'm i'm actually working well i'm working on my pastel blossoms journal and i think i just i've had a lot of work lately unfortunately not very creative work like i had um a lot of stuff to figure out regarding my taxes the tax system in Poland is is very complicated and not very user friendly and, and not very friendly for small entrepreneurs you know <laughs> so yeah so I have uh, had a lot of just very unpleasant like administrative stuff to do lately and I haven't been able to just actually sit down and enjoy crafting, you know, which is sad because this is my, it's not only my work crafting, but it's also my, my passion. It's something that gives me joy. It's something that uh, I do to relax and to unwind. So I kind of, I kind of wish I had more time soon though, I hope. <laughs> but, but yeah, basically I'm working on finishing my pastel blossoms journal. I hope to, to be able to film more videos on it soon. And I hope we will be able to wrap up this project. I love how this is turning out. I'm also slowly but surely <laughs> working on some custom orders, uh, some journals and um, I have I think four going on at the moment and each one of them is different and it's kind of, it's very difficult it's it's difficult for me to work on four different projects at the same time this is also a one of the reasons i love how it looks <laughs> this is also one of the reasons why i uh why i needed to do i want some more of this yeah why i needed to Stop taking custom orders for a moment because of course each custom order is different and I like to work in bulk you know I like to make um, a lot of things at the same time it's how I work the fastest and I think more efficient I don't mind doing the same thing a few times like you know I don't think it's boring or anything it's it, it really is how I work best so with custom orders I just I can't seem to wrap my be able to wrap my mind around four completely different journals and especially that you know each 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 customer is, is your right of course uh, would like some different things, some different themes, 
um, so so it's not it's not always easy to I would even say that it's harder to work on custom orders very often than it is uh, to come up with a completely new idea and, and go with it because uh, because of, of how different we all are and how different things we we want. Okay, so I think I like it. I'm just thinking if I would like to add maybe anything else or if I'm actually going to or if I'm actually going to um, to add maybe a little bit more when when we are uh, when we've cut our postcards and we are further decorating them but I think I would like a piece of, of ledger here and I have this can I put this one anywhere or maybe I would like this here actually would I like that yeah so it's it's actually a fun idea you know if you're stuck uh, when you're trying to collage something you don't know how to start just start with a few huge elements like you could see we started with four and we've covered basically uh, the whole page and you could stop there it already looked pretty but then I feel that when you don't have this blank page staring at you uh, you you just it's easier to add those little elements it becomes easier and easier as you keep adding and then you can actually enjoy the process without being too too anxious about the blank page because the blank page is gone and it's gone under just three or four big pieces that you've put on first so I think that's a good tip if you're struggling with with collaging especially like if you have this big blank page <laughs> okay so let me put these scraps aside right so here is our page Oops. here is what it what it looks like i love the colors i i love the colors i just love how this handmade paper works with lorna's lace paper and this beautiful piece from uh from my porch prints it's awesome so now let me take my huge scissors <laughs> and let me cut out those um those postcards and i'm excited i'm not going to look at them until i've cut all of them and uh i'm interested in what we have on the back <laughs> Okay, so I have them all cut out and now uh, the grand reveal. <laughs> uh, so let's see what we have on the back. Wow, I love it. I love it. Okay, oh, this is gorgeous. And this little piece of book page here, I hope you can see. This is so pretty. Wow, this one huge chunk of this handmade paper and then just a few little pieces here uh, I will be sewing around so I'm not worried about the edges kind of coming off and this one oh this is gorgeous wow wow I love this so thank you so much Rachel for the inspiration um, this was amazing uh, okay, so I don't think we are going to actually do much more on these because we have the flowers, each one comes with a flower on the front. So we don't need any focal points on the back, I feel, but I would love to add some writing space because of course you can write over it. You can write here, uh, each one has some space for writing, but maybe just some label or something like that to tone it to tone down a bit 
you know this is these backgrounds are quite busy a lot of going on so going to my trusty trusty ephemera holder <laughs> for I need to name it finally oh my goodness I haven't done this uh, and I've been using this one a lot so let me first check these ones I have these but I think I just think they are too busy covering too much so no not these I have of course Tracy um, but maybe something different these are too small these are the, I'm thinking these so these are labels they are not stickers and I got them from Aliexpress and we could actually we could actually mm, like add them so that they sort of overhang the um, the edge so they, they, they don't take up so much space I think I like this one maybe here okay what else could we could we use this one looks pretty because it has a little bit of the same color as the, the flowers what else do I want um, this is pretty I don't want to cover this bit uh, because it's so cute but maybe I could actually glue it right here because then I'm only kind of covering the ledger yeah let's do this and for the last one yeah I like this piece again the same kind of color as we have on these papers so so that will work I am of course going to ink these around no surprise here I, I, I believe uh, my boyfriend was laughing at me uh, some time ago that I just kind of ink everything that I have in my hands, you know, like just give me this so I'll ink this up. Oh, I need to ink this up. <laughs> I just like inking. I just like the look. So I ink. <laughs> and notice please that I have not inked a single piece on this on these collage sheets I think I can be proud of myself <laughs> but I was kind of channeling uh, Rachel and she never inks so I think this is where it came from okay. mm -hmm. and for these because I want them to stick uh, better I'm going to use my wet glue okay so there we have all of them I've inked up all around them and I think they look really cute they really do and now just let me see if I would like to add anything else to them. I'm thinking... How about... I think I may want some lace on them or some fabric. So let's see if I can find anything here. Just some some snippets. Okay, I already have these, so I could add them here maybe. Yeah, I like it. Okay, what else? Oh, my beloved leaf trim. I've been using it 
so much lately <laughs> and I, I think I am going to use it again on this one then what else what else do I have this is tiny uh, I have this does it no it doesn't work with anything really <laughs> this wavy this wavy shape here and I'm going to use a piece of it on here like this a little bit of overhang and <coughs> for the last one oh, I, have, I have a bit of a ruffle like this would this work? I made this ruffle a long time ago actually. Probably don't even have the fabric that I use. I like the colors. Yeah, I like how the colors look. Okay, let's do it then. Okay. Hey guys so what I will do now is I will sew these on uh, sew this on my postcards these pieces of fabric and lace and uh, I will be back in a sec and we will see what else can we do to decorate them see you in a sec okay guys they are all uh, stitched and I actually don't think they need much more to be honest I don't think we are going to be adding anything else to them because uh, that would that would bulk them up more if we added like eyelets with some charms or some some ribbon. This looks cute. Yeah. So we have four postcards. It was so quick and easy. It took us no time at all i love this project so on to the next thing and i was actually i was wanting to use these big tickets and of course you can you know use them as uh, tax spots or as journaling cards because they are big enough but let's do something fun with them so let me cut them out first and then we will see what we can make i also pulled a few coffee and tea stained pieces of paper and i was thinking maybe we could make these into little tear notebooks so we will add some pieces of paper on the back this will be like the cover and you will be able to jot down some quick notes or just tear those pieces if you need a piece of paper so let's let's try to do it um, let me see how wide would I want so no wider than five centimeters so no wider than two inches and maybe about three inches or more than this three and a half I don't know it's 10 centimeters no it's not 10 centimeters okay let's stick with three inches about so seven to eight centimeters um, okay. so 
say again, I want them five centimeters or two inches wide and that's how I am going to cut them. To cut those um, sheets of paper that is. Okay, and maybe this one too. And this is a little bit two pieces of paper stuck together uh, while I was air drying them after tea staining but it doesn't really matter I think it adds just some interest and now uh, we want them about eight centimeters so let me cut them like this quickly and I want this one of those grungy uh, lace print. Okay, so now what I want to do is we will have three of these and three of these for each of the notebooks. Maybe let's change those up a little bit and I can just make them like one coffee, one, one blank sort of one one of this French ruled paper so to add a little bit of interest again and what I had in mind is that we would attach them and I will sew them but you can of course uh, you can of course just glue them on the back here so I will sew somewhere here and then you will have all those cute papers and then we can do something to decorate this. So before we do it, actually, let me take some of the paper from, from our collaging because I don't really want those sides to be blank. So I'm going to glue the tickets on here and I'm going to uh, just cut them out just give them a little bit of of background you know something something interesting on the background mm -hmm. them out quickly right I like this much better now let me of course ink around these okay mm -hmm. so here is our little stack of paper it's going to be touched like this to the back and what's what do I want on the front I think maybe maybe some sorry silk trim actually I've been using this particular color of sari trim uh, this is from Perrin Yarns. I will link them below. Um, I've been using this throughout my Pastel Blossoms journal and I kind of feel like it's a theme color, especially, you know, when it comes to Surrey Silk. Okay, I'm unable to find... Oh, here's the end. Hmm. So I would have it like this, or maybe across here, yeah, and my papers, mm -hmm. okay, let's do this, okay, and I actually think I'm going to sew, to sew those uh, papers on the back right now, so that, 
so that um, I can attach them. I can attach the sari silk as well and then we will think about what we want to do next with them. So I'll be back in a sec. Uh, here they are, <laughs> our cute uh, little notebook that you can tear pages from if you need and uh, with some sorry silk. My, my machine actually decided to rebel on me <laughs> uh, while um, sewing on the back, but I don't mind. I think they are cute. So uh, I was just thinking, yeah, I really want to use some eyelets today, as you can probably tell. So let me do it. I think we can actually do it on this project so i want just to, i just want to punch the corner on both of these like that then we will add some eyelets just regular regular metal eyelets nothing nothing too fancy And I have a few pieces of twine that I use. This is linen uh, thread that I use for binding my um, books with. Uh, but I thought we could use it to hang our charms off on instead of like using a um, safety, pin, safety pin, which is what I would usually uh, use. So let's see what charm would we want here. This would look nice. These are such a nice color. I like this. Okay, and then for this one, and then for this one some kind of a flower yeah the puppy wants to help me choose <laughs> don't you oh boy you oh, maybe this little flower yeah I think it's going to look cute Okay, so let me. Okay, so let me try to uh, oh, to attach it. Oh, cute little paw. <laughs> let me try to attach it. Like this I'm just going to double knot it and I hope the charm will be the right side the right side up okay okay let me cut all of these these strings and here it is Okay, uh, our first, our first one with the little notebook on the back. I think it's cute. Okay, and let me quickly do the same with the second one. Okay, so here are all the things we did today with using uh, digital ephemera and making it our own. So we have those 
two cute large tickets that we made into notebooks like this you can tear pages easily because they've been sewn to it or you can just use them uh, to jot down little notes or quotes or um, whatever comes to your mind so these are so cute and they they aren't really bulky you know they aren't really bulky so they are not going to take up too much space in the journal and now we have four of these postcards that are really i love the background <laughs> i still i i am still inspired by this so definitely going to be making more if you can see my puppy in the background she is really she really wants me to come play with her <laughs> so that's what i'm going to do right now thank you so much for your time guys thank you for crafting with me thank you for your support and i will see you very soon in my next video bye